morning to Marcus. Morning. Uh, when when you kind of step back a little bit and, and look on this season, are you are you encouraged with with how this team responded and, and finished and, and see that as a building block, or, or do you just look at it as you fell short of what you hoped to accomplish and, and it was a, a disappointing season? Yeah, uh, I mean, just looking back on the season, we all came in with high hopes and uh, and the will to go to the Super Bowl and uh, we came up short. I mean, we deal with COVID this year. Uh, we deal with a lot of injuries this year. And we deal with some young guys stepping up to the plate and deserving a position on this team. Uh, so, yeah, we, we lost this year, but I feel like also we gained a lot. And by having these young guys uh, come in each and every day and improve on their skills and also, you know, keep me into the game and keep me motivated about playing this game of football, you know, this year with everything that's going on, with, with everything going on, uh, it's very inspiring. And uh, I appreciate all those guys in the locker room uh, for what we went through this year uh, and how it's going to shape our lives and make us better people and better players. This year? Uh, Mike's a stand up guy, man. Um, he's going to be flat out honest with you. He's going to tell you your flaws. He's going to tell you the truth. Um, and, you know, he, he really is a player's coach. And, I mean, I thank him for taking care of our bodies this year um, and how his system is designed. Um, he take care of our bodies all year. So this time of the year, we can fly around and we can play football, you know, and we, we just ain't get the job done. Marcus, what does this defense need to be markedly improved in 2021? Uh, just more consistency, really. Uh, understanding the culture around you, understanding the type of players you're playing with, and also just being firm and determined to win at all costs. Marcus, what have you learned about Mike Nolan this season? And how would you summarize what the defense was able to do in his first year? Yeah, um, I mean, just to summarize 2020, uh, you know, we went through some tough battles at the beginning of the season. Not me personally with coach, but I'm just saying in general uh, as a defense, uh, we went through some tough battles, uh, you know, and, and when you're playing with young guys on the defense, you know, we have to take into consideration that um, some things that's easy for me won't be easier for the next person. And, you know, I respect Mike as a man because he looked himself in the mirror and he, you know, changed some things to make us play faster and help us play better. And uh, we started to see the improvements, you know, I mean, it was later in the season, but we started to see improvements. Um, and I really think, you know, it shined light on, you know, the type of players that we are. Would you say if you had like a, a quote unquote normal off season that the scheme that Mike was trying to implement defensively would have worked? Or was it just one of those things where do you have a different opinion on that? No, um, I mean, yes, the, the scheme, it's not complicated. Honesty is not complicated. It's just remembering when you're on the field, your assignment. Because, you know, something can happen, um, tight end can motion, move size, whatever, but you have to be, you know, determined to uh, get your job done. And, you know, it, it was a little confusing at first for uh, some of the guys. So Marcus, you considered opting out, or at least you had some of those conversations with Sasha before the season. What has it been like being a parent of a newborn during the season, and how has this been for you personally? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's been tough. This whole season's been tough, um, you know, with the daily COVID tests, uh, you know, the masks, uh, and really, you know, being around a, a group of men, you, you don't know you don't really know who they be around at the end of the day. So now you have to go back home with the, the fear or the caution of getting, getting your family sick. 
So, I, I mean, it, it was tough, and, um, you know, I tried my best to make sure I was in the best um, health um, I could be this year uh, because I already know how important that is to me, um, my daughter. Anything else? Demar Demarcus, what would you tell fans is the number one reason that they should be excited for what y'all can do in 2021? I mean, all the spec speculators know um, what we lost this year, uh, but also what we gained. And I mean, if they ain't ready for the 2021 season, I make sure we're ready. And that's all to it. Uh, you can expect us to, you know, give a give it all all. Make sure we come out there and dominate each and every play, and make sure we show y'all the type of man that we have in this locker room. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Marcus, can you answer this one one more? Uh -huh. we're, we're not sure of uh, Tyrone Crawford's future here, but what has it meant to you to be his teammate for all these years, and what has he meant to this defense? Why y'all got to do this? <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, you know, tie my boy, man, my dog, my soldier, my rider, and I know, uh, you know, I don't know what his decision is yet, um, uh, you know, what he's going to do, uh, but I already know uh, he'll be good at whatever he, he's stepping into next. Thank you.